Hi, this is Antonio Bruni with Michaels and Booth, and I wanted to talk to you today about uh, Social Security Disability and specifically the effect of age on Social Security Disability. For starters, uh, if you are under the age of 19, your only option is going to be SSI, that's Supplemental Security Income. Uh, children are only eligible for SSI. They're not eligible for Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI. That's because SSDI is only for people who have worked and paid into the system. Obviously, a, a minor child, someone who's three, four, uh, five years old, hasn't um, worked and paid into the system. Um, so they are only eligible for uh, SSI. So someone who's under the age of 19, um, you know, 18 still in school, uh, uh, but just under the age of 19, those people are only eligible for SSI. SSI is also available for people uh, after they turn 18. So SSI is for both adults and children. Um, once you turn 18, if you have not uh, paid in sufficient work credits, so someone who's never worked and applies for disability, they're only going to be eligible for the SSI program, the Supplemental Security uh, Insurance Program, uh, Income Program. They are capped at about $735 a month. It comes with Medicaid. Uh, but for someone who hasn't uh, worked and paid into uh, your FICA taxes, you're going to be limited to SSI. So adults and children, um, uh, adults who have not worked, and children, obviously, who have not worked, that's going to be limited to SSI. People that have worked are eligible for SSDI. That's Social Security Disability Insurance. Uh, from age 18 to 21, there's a loophole. Those people, if you apply, even if you haven't worked, 18 to 21, you can apply under your parents' earnings record, but you have to apply before you turn age 21. So a, t a child who has been on disability um, from birth, uh, as long as they apply for SSDI uh, from 18 to 21, they can then get on the SSDI program. They'd be eligible for Medicare instead of Medicaid, but you have to do it in those first three years before you turn 21. If you don't do it, if you wait until you turn uh, 21 years old, then you have to apply for SSI because you haven't paid into the system. Your only option would be SSI. The second age group is from 21 to 30. From 21 to 30, uh, typically when I say pay in, you have to have paid in for 10 years. There, there's a minimum amount of time that you have to uh, have worked. So you have to have worked five of the past 10 uh, total. Uh, at 21 to 30, you only have to have worked half of the number of years. So if you're 22, you, they don't expect you to have worked five of the past 10 years. You only have to have worked one of the last two years. So if you're 25, you only have to have worked half of the five years. You only have to have worked two and a half years to have sufficient credits. If you're 29, you only have to have worked four and a half years instead of the full five years uh, to have the sufficient work credits. So from 21 to 30, it's you only have to have worked half the number of those 10 years or whatever age that you've made it to. At 21, you have to have worked six months. At 22, you have to have worked one year. At 25, you have to have worked two and a half years. At 26, you have to have worked three years. And that's how you build up enough credits to be eligible for SSDI. So in your 20s, whatever the second number is, you just divide that number by two, and that's how many years you have to have worked to be eligible for SSDI. Once you hit 30, you have to have worked five of the past 10 years to be eligible for disability. And that's that third number there. From 31 to 49, you have to have worked five of the past 10 years to be eligible for Social Security Disability. That's the next age group. That age group is actually called younger individuals. That is the most difficult age group vocationally to be accepted for disability. And we have a, a different uh, blog that will explain the difficulties with being accepted for disability in that age group, the under 49 age group. But just so you know, 31 to 49, is they're called younger individuals and they are uh, eligible for disability as long as you've earned or worked five of the past 10 years. The next age group for Social Security is age 50 to 54. Um, that age group, it, it changes your uh, requirements for uh, getting disability. So they have from 18 to, to 49, they consider you all, that's all one huge age group. And then 
uh, they consider you aging at 50 to 54. They consider that closely approaching advanced age, <laughs> uh, to be kind. Uh, then is age 55 uh, to 59. Uh, they consider that advanced age. Then you get uh, age 60. Uh, that's approaching retirement age. Um, these are all, each one of these age brackets, Social Security's standard for disability gets a little bit easier. So if, if you're on the fence about applying for disability at each one of these, at it, it 50, at 55, at 60, it gets a little bit easier. So if you're thinking about it and you can hold out another two months, it's going to be a little bit easier at 50, at 55, and at 60. At age 62, you are permitted to apply for early retirement. You are, that's positive, yes, permitted to apply for both early retirement and Social Security disability. So you can receive your early retirement. You get a discounted rate. If you try right at 62, retire right at 62, they give you 75% of your full retirement. But you can get that money while you wait for determination on whether or not you're disabled. So you, you get a lower burden for proving disability, and you can get 75% of your uh, retirement benefit while you're waiting for that determination. So that's an advantage. And the last number is your full retirement age. Uh, right now it's 66. If you have not applied for disability by the time you're five months from your full retirement age, there's nothing that can be done. And the reason is there's a five month waiting period for your benefits to start. So if you waited four months before your retirement age, they'd say, well, your benefits wouldn't start till after you retired, so there's no point. You might as well just wait till you retire because your check would start faster. So next is retirement age. Once you hit retirement age, they will not take your application. Uh, the reason being, you can't get disability and retirement. They don't stack on top of each other. It's one or the other. Uh, and I, I get phone calls all the time asking people that, you know, I'm only getting uh, $1,200 in retirement. I need to apply for disability as well. Or I worked until 70. I was getting retirement, and now I got hurt. Uh, I want my disability. It's They're not stacking programs. It's one or the other. So once you're on Social Security retirement, uh, you're 66 or above, you're not eligible for any more of the disability programs. So if you have any other uh, questions or concern, you can always contact us for a free no obligation consultation. Uh, we're always happy to help. Uh, my name is Antonio Bruni, and I'm, I'm happy to talk to you. Y'all have a great day.